through that cool little little intro scene. Uh, but yeah, there's the boat that you guys saw, the portal machine that you guys saw. Uh, there's a bridge somewhere around the map on the outskirts and within the map, uh, you know, closer towards the well, not on the outskirts is the bunker. And uh, the frenzy is that fifth and final escape to to give you a to give you a chance. Uh, so as a human, our job is to kind of loot and uh, find survival tools and escape tools. Yeah, so the the humans are naturally very unequipped for a clown invasion. You are caught in the middle of this thing, and the the biggest part that we wanted to come through here and kind of recreating the um, parts of the movie is like you know you you want to fight back, and we felt it was extremely important to allow the humans to fight back because there is just this this element of immersion where you just like this is what you would want to do in a clown invasion you'd want to pick things up to to hit the clowns with you'd want to pick up things to throw at the clowns so like combat was a huge focus and a big part of that is first finding the weapons so humans start off very vulnerable and it's important to stay low and and quiet you'll notice at the the base of, of albert's screen you see that that waveform bar that's when you're generating those noise pings. And as you do louder things like shoot weapons or, or fail QTs and do stuff, the, the, um, the, the, the waveform gets very big and represents. You can sprint a little, Albert, just to yeah. kind of show that at like full blast. That kind of represents, drop the can first. Drop the, okay, oh, yeah, because that's going to be There you go. Yeah, so if you're full sprinting, that's when you're making the most noise that's extending and being seen at the farthest distance. So it's very much about you want to manage where you're, where, how you're generating noise, especially early in the game when you don't have much stuff. So we've obviously been picking up a lot. Uh, these guys have some escape objects. Looks like we've got enough for the portal, but let's go, we can go check out the portal. Since yes, you guys sir. Uh, I was going to show up a meeting point real quick. So oh, yeah. Let's uh, spawn in with a little, hey, everybody meet up here. And while you're here, uh, you can, it actually shows you the way to where all the escapes are. Now, when you leave the room, course those go away uh there is an item that you can find around the map called the compass that does the same thing when you left click it or you know use right trigger depending on what uh or r2 depending on what platform you're on uh you will be able to see where all the exits are uh, sp <laughs> speaking of which um where the heck is oh bye uh hang on your flies for a second <laughs> Where? Let me go back in there. I'm gonna see. Wait, I have everything for the boat. I think I'm just gonna go towards the shore. Oh, you wanna go check out the boat? So, like we've talked about, and it's been we we've gone over the exits before the escapes. Like there's there's four of them. They all require different things each time. Mm -hmm. uh, not each time. Sorry, they all require different things depending on what the escape specifically is. So it really is an interesting dynamic as you're looting to be finding different things that then kind of push you in the direction of something you weren't expecting. So you could find the boat early, and mm -hmm. then you end up going looking for the stuff for the boat, and you start finding the bunker key card. And then it's, you know, at that point, it's a different game. Like, you want to now, you're closer to a different exit that you didn't plan on taking. So it starts to create different scenarios for the player that, that we really feel allows, oh, crap, Albert. Uh, Luckily, I have an axe, which I'm gonna is do my best here. more powerful. You think you can do this, Shorty? You think you can do this? What are you going to do? Knock my block off? <laughs> oh, but I know your reach. Ah! Hit him get him. It. Get him. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was done. Good. Now, for the purposes of the tutorial, we're not going to escape <laughs> right away. But um, that is... Oh, get that is back off. Way to do it. Back off. So as you can see, we can, uh, we're able to down the clowns, uh, but you oh need goodness. a sharp object to actually pop that nose of theirs. Oh, my God, dude. I'm getting out of here. I'm so... Another thing you'll notice that's pretty important to this too is the the weapons are there's durability associated with everything, uh, not everything, but the, the weapons. Anything that's powerful and gives you that chance, there is a there is that choice. Like you can go up against clowns with an axe, like I have, which is like I said, one of the rarer, tougher things to find that I got lucky with. Ooh, I got another spark, but it does only have so many times that you can hit things. So you got to be really careful about how you're judging those encounters and like when you want to. When you want to use stuff um, and each clown does have a different uh with the clown types different clowns have different uh vulnerability like they, they they have different health amounts so depending on who it is like shorty's pretty small and weak and easy to take out 
uh, but very quick and nimble. So you got to be, you got to you got to depend on depending on what you're encountering and who you're facing. You do need to change your game's gameplay style to kind of adhere to what those clowns are going to be facing off against you with, uh, yep. including their weapons. Okay. Uh, sure another important thing. Where are you at, Albert? Uh, I'm like nearby you, but these clowns are these clowns are on my ah! tail, dude. <laughs> okay. Well, should I use my axe, or are you gonna save me? I would come and save me, dude. Yeah. I think come there's all me. three of them. Right. Oh, jeez! Got jump scared by a lackey. <laughs> and uh, yeah, when you do get jumped by a lackey like that, it does ping the clown. So yeah, I'm gonna have some friends here soon. There's another escape tool. Yes, nice. Glad I got this to defend myself with. Um, like I said, you know, there's escape tools and certain survival ones, like like. You obviously want the escape tools to get out as human, but you also want, uh, you know, firepower, uh, whether that be in the form of firearms or blunt objects, just to defend yourself from these, from these lackeys and these clowns. Are you gonna save me, or should I? Don't tell him, dude. I don't think he's Listen. nearby. Oh my God, he's right there. He's gonna... Watch out, oh Albert! Oh my God, dude. <laughs> okay, I'm. Okay, turn it back on him. I don't have nothing but a popsicle. I'm gonna throw the popsicle at him. Oh wait, I've got energy drinks. I'll throw at him too. <laughs> Let's get him. Get him. Get him. Okay, I'm cutting him off. Back here, shorty. I really don't have any other way to help if you get him down. Uh, no, I don't have any sharp options. Okay, let's get out of here then. Him. Oh my god, he's already getting back up. <laughs> oh god, I see the pizza box. What? <laughs> no, no, I didn't order it. I didn't order pizza. <laughs> Let's go find the, uh, what do we have, the, the, the gated, like the bridge? I do have a bridge key. I don't have anything to break it with. I have something to break it with. I have a bat anyway. I wish I wouldn't have Jordan, I think I might be done done for here, dude. Oh, my goodness. You might help. Uh, I think I'm just dead. Yep, I'm dead. Okay. Well, in that case, mentality. you will be able to show off uh, one of our... Fun features, the yeah. Hand of Fate mini games. This is good, yeah. So, the, big, the, biggest the death scenario. So, what happens in this game? I think we kind of covered it in the last one, but I'll give a little bit more of a breakdown. Is the clowns respawn. You can kill the clowns, and right now there's a 45 second timer that they sit and then come back. So, mm -hmm. they will continually stream into the match uh, as they die. The humans do not, but there is the resurrection machine in the map. Um, so what's going to happen now is Albert is going to be gifting me the best items, hopefully. I'm keeping And then myself, I dude. might consider bringing him back into the fold. What do you I mean, might right. consider? Might consider. I might consider it. Or I'll just escape. Wait a second. Amber has the key, and I had the gas can I'm back there. I'm keeping that baseball. I want Shoot. that baseball. You're not getting my baseball. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, hold on. Well, after, let me know when you're done with that, and I'll bring you back. I'm, I'm close. Okay. To the this, game, this one is hard. So the resurrection machine for the humans, it only works once in the match. So you have to learn when to, you have to choose when to use it to have the most effectiveness. Um, and then after that, it is, and it only brings back dead people. If you've you escaped, go. you're you're oh, not nice coming one. back. You've escaped the location. Thank you. So delicious. Oh, uh, but yeah, this uh, this hand of fate mini game is a is a pretty crazy way to like. It's a it's a way for the humans to not feel completely out of the game if there's like your your numbers are dwindling and it's a it's a really cool way to um, almost like you still have agency and influence over the game after you've escaped or uh, or died. Well, I'm gonna keep this. Wait, did you just give me a knife. Wait, what? Okay, so yeah, one thing that Albert's doing right now about the mini games is you can choose to give it to someone you're spectating or. You can keep, keep it in your own inventory for when you come back. So, as I bring him back into play by using the resurrection machine, Albert now has the items that he had kept baseball, for himself. Baseball selfishly. Yeah. Selfishly. You already had a baseball bat. I'm not going to Selfishly. How? Oh, okay. Hear it. All right, bro. Um, we've been Charles. seeing a lot about this uh, this question about choosing your team. Uh, we'll be using a ooh, 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 uh, a preference system, Jordan, if you wanted to. I guess somewhat self-explanatory, but if you want to give it a quick yeah, on that. Let's, let's, uh, um, we'll have it for like the private match stuff, and then yeah, matchmakers. Um, 
preference base, but the, let's see, where's the, oh, crap. Oh, I just absolutely destroyed that lackey, and you didn't get to see it. I'll try and mic my um, way over to where I think you are. I'm, I'm coming back to you. Oh, this isn't you. Sorry, I saw there was an A on the map. Oh. But yeah, uh, for, yeah, yeah, for matchmaking and queuing, we'll have a, a, a preference-based system. So you'll set your preference of what you want to be, but you're not always 100% guaranteed it just for the sake of, you know, match times. Yeah. And matchmaking queues and, and whatnot, but um, if you guys have played... We do have, uh, as far as, like, different lobbies and things, we do have bots, uh, human bots, that will that will be in play to keep things moving along um, that, that have helped... Extra oh wow, sorry, I just found a shotgun. He's healing. Uh, I'm getting out of here. This is, it's getting kind of crazy here with all these lackeys spawning in. Where did you end up going? I think we need I'm to over by here. Miles. Uh, I'm still by the roller coaster. I'm also trying to look and see if we've missed anything to talk about on the uh, on the list. Um, kind of big, kind of pieced together with combat. Like you can see the melee stuff. For the humans, they can pick up baths, and, and there's kind of like a, a wide range of long versus short things. But then there's also blunt versus sharp, which kind of do different things around the, the around of stuns and uh, and, and damage amounts. Get that stupid pizza box somewhere. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I hate the sound of that thing. That thing. That boyo yelling sound gives me nightmares. <laughs> um, Portal's got one one more spark plug left. Oh, that's what I've got. Oh. That's what I've got. Let's get out of here as All I'm right, finishing this off. I try and defend you. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I got shot by a popcorn uh, gun, and I'm being cracked a little bit. Um, uh, sorry, to finish off my previous statement about uh, combat stuff, we, we the, the throwing is a big part of, of getting really good at this game. Uh, if what, you want to be a objects? human... Throwing objects, yeah. It's Not any, like any object... Here. No, no, not throwing the game specifically. No, it's the it's the objects. Anything you pick up, yeah, you can throw, and it's it's added a really fun layer that gives you. Oh crap! Oh the wait, the bridge is open. Yep, I'm just going for it. Okay. Oh, there's only so many humans that can fit, dude. It's breaking. It's, it's breaking. Don't. Oh. <laughs> I just got across with Miles. You we just, just left walked me. out casually. You just left me with all these crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dude, I'm out of uh, as well. That was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So the bridge breaks after so many people. So there's a couple of them there. I we kind of labeled them condemned gate exits because you have to bash down a barrier and then you unlock with a key that you find. Uh because it's a condemned exit. And you can only cross so many times. So clowns can also walk on these things and reduce their uh, integrity, which will then make them collapse, whether it's a tunnel or a bridge. So there's definitely a each each escape has their different nuance. Uh, the portal one, which Albert, I just finished. If you want to boot up, oh, okay. uh, you can. So Albert can actually use the portal now by himself. What the portal does is you open it up by holding the long interact and not failing the interact Duh, like dude, that. Oh up, there's my goodness! On me. What an amateur! What? Oh my! I guess I'll play hand of fate and help you in the meantime. Just but uh, you hold the portal open. You can hold it open as long as you want. It only allows three people out of it, but you can hold it open and then let go, and then it starts to collapse. As it's collapsing, you can then jump in as the interactor. So you can it, it gives that last little moment that you can uh, kind of kind of exit the map. You know, I'm just a, failed I'm that pretty a well. literal sliver of health. Well, let me see if I can get you. Uh, I've been failing the mini games pretty harshly, right? <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to be able to help you. Yeah. Do you have a do you have an energy drink? I have a popsicle. No, that's that's better than nothing. Oh, that's not a health. That's not a first aid kit. That's a gasoline tank. Oh! No, it's Albert. Me. It's over for me. Albert. Oh! Oh, he missed. He whiffed it. No, one second. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, oh, look at that sweet ragdoll. Look at that sweet ragdoll. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so a big thing that uh, that we haven't really showed off too much um, that we've been working on is proximity chat. That is that oh, yes. exists in here. Mm -hmm. That is uh, part we feel is a big part of this type of experience. You want to be able to have those 
interactions throughout the match, whether you're in California. Luckily, we can't hear. Are we on the same team, Albert? We are, we are on the same team. Yeah, I was I'm actually kind of hoping I'd be up against you, but I'll have to save that for another stream. Okay, well, here we go. Luckily, none of the other people can hear us, but me and Albert can communicate, so. Okay, so yeah, the proximity initial... chat is definitely uh, one of the, one of my favorite things about this. Never would I have ever thought that I'd be playing in a company playtest and just hearing Jordan around the corner is like, come here, Albert, where are you going? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's crucial for the. Oh crap, Albert! What? What? I've been tracked. Oh, I'm with Joe. Joe, save me. <laughs> okay, I'm, try, I'm okay, gonna try I to make it to the meeting point. I did find the uh, the bunker. I the technically shouldn't be talking to you until. The boat I have nothing but a stick. Northern shore. It's also very. So, like after uh, the amount of development time we've been through post PAX, like looking at this build and playing it, like every single thing, like it's it's just crazy to see the progress. Because not only are the, the the lighting and the the visuals of everything have drastically improved, but the just the the smoothness and like a ton of the the functionalities of everything with the the different features that we're displaying today have been massively polished like it's it's exciting to, to come back and play this and and know about all the shepherd whipping me with his tail now <laughs> so that yeah it's it's exciting it is i'm really excited for for people to get their hands on this oh hey matt's over here at the meeting point a uh, little sound cue thing here um so humans are on the map we'll get uh, a few of these kind of things in this case it's a boom box uh, you can power it on and maybe distract a clown or lure one uh, if you're standing next to it. Um, but, of course, you can create noise pings. Uh, so, I'm trying to pull off like a juke, which is not happening. You just close on it. Do you show off your flashlight at all? Uh, I have not. Let's do that. It is a little bit. Humans get a flashlight. Yeah, and humans get a flashlight. Toggleable. It, 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 I mean, it's beneficial in dark areas, but it also is very easy to give you away. So Yeah, clowns can see this. usage. I feel like I haven't run into very many this much. Yeah, I'm surprised I got out of that alive. I think it's just because there is a second person with me. Two people cocooned right now. I'm gonna see if I can find like a sharp object or I've got some decent melee weapons, but I would like Wait, someone activated a flare. What does that mean? Someone at the boat? Uh maybe an escape's ready, yeah. Do clowns Where are you see at right now? Well? I'm over by the parking lot. I'm gonna see uh that. not the I mean they can see the flare. They can't they don't get the notification or that UI prompt. Let's see if I can't. I, I think that flare is a trap. It's like right next to a bunch of cocooned humans. Yeah, I don't that like was definitely that. like a panic flare. <laughs> Let's see if I, can I don't like panic oh flares. God, there's, Albert, we need to meet up. There's two live. I'm by the. Trying to screen peek you to figure out where you're at, but. Okay, I see you. Yeah, you're right near me. Dude, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Go go, to your. Watch it. He's gonna. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Matt, Matt, follow me. He's looking the other direction. Okay, we see the human. Let's go. Get out. I would love like a knife. So that looks like a good human. I, oh, I got a bridge key. Uh, yeah, it's always it's always a good idea to. Oh, you got the compass too. It's always really a good idea to try and find something sharp. There's only so many of them, obviously, in the... Okay. I see you now. Jesus, there's, there's so many... Miles, no! It's me, it's me, it's me. Oh, hey, hey, hey. It's me, it's me. All right, I've got a metal pipe. You've got the baseball bat. Do you think that's enough? To I've got a wrench, too. Yeah, oh, I've got a wrench, too. Yeah, we're totally good. Did you see where it was? Yeah, you have the compass, it's right? A, yeah, it's over by here. Let's see if I can see anything good in there. Oh, nice. All right, I'm dropping the compass for now. Yeah, I kind of want to go save Miles. No, dude, behind Oh, us. crap. No, we got him. We got him. 
Got him. We're going in. I can at least knock him down. I can at least knock him down. I've got a knife. I got. I don't knife. have. I don't. Eat this, shorty. Okay. Let's get back into the park. I'm not gonna say where we're going. Ooh, hot dog. Hot diggity dog. Now this is gonna make a ton of noise. Go, 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 go. Oh, <laughs> there's uh, there's some stuff coming. What does that mean? Oh, no. By that, I mean one of the clowns and probably more if we are not careful. Okay, no, let's give him the thumbs up. Let's make sure everyone can get out here. Okay, go. So, yeah, as you can see, when humans band together, it is, like, we get pretty dangerous. The clowns are not invincible. Depends oh, on the... No, no. Okay, let's let... Okay, go, go, just run. I, right, Albert, right, let's let them go. Uh, let's stay and, and see if we can go save... Uh... Yeah, some other humans. Miles, get out of there. Oh my god, dude. Use the bridge. Leave. Dude, they, they want to stay. Okay, nice. I got a first aid kit. Okay, Miles got out of there. I'm definitely trying to be the hero. Make sure everyone gets out. Uh, speaking of heroes, um... just he just collapsed the bridge. Well, whoever was back there missed your opportunity. Sorry, what? Go for it. No, I was gonna say, did you want to go through uh, like uh, archetypes? Uh, yeah. So there's like, well, th there'll be more of this. We haven't like gone through a whole bunch of this stuff, but there's there's types, clown types, and archetypes for humans. Um, that that they're not in substantial changes to. Oh crap. Sorry, I'm getting chased by a. That's right, Shorty. Can you Goodbye. pizza box me? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to customize and choose. And as you level up through progression, you'll be able to unlock those different things and kind of fit your play style. So gives right. you an opportunity to play different types of clowns. And then yeah, the like the heroic is kind of based around the cop, like mm -hmm. uh, kind of how that we we go through the different archetypes of 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 the film specifically. Uh, with the the athletic teen kind of archetype, and then you've got the the rebellious punks, the heroic heroic cops. Wait, the... oh my god! They Wait, did someone bunk. just open the bunker they and not let it go? I got there at two seconds left, and there's a shorty in front of it. Oh no, dude! All right, we're running out of options here. So much for the hero. Um, yeah. So for uh, for the bunker. No, that's not what I was going to say. Um, for clowns, rather, uh, specifically, you guys can see, uh, like, Shorty kind of has, like, lower health, more glass cannon, you know, heavy damage, that kind of style. Yeah, map map covering, like, speed, stamina, um, uh, the, there's a fog of war that clears for the jump ability is all kind of built into the way clowns react and, and play. We've got the boat ready. Oh, you don't need the gas? No, we, we're good. Mike's, like on the boat ready to go so i mean we're only going to be here for so long i've got low stamina but i'm coming what's uh so we got albert me joe oh well joe just died i think it's just us three mike th yeah yeah so if you get to the boat we'll head on out oh, of here oh god i think they're all coming oh, it just oh, got oh, oh. get out of there oh no. yeah watch this Watch this. Oh, see God, my wrench. You want to see my wrench throwing skills? Yeah, yeah, yeah. hit him with it. Oh, yeah, dude, they're all second. coming. One second. Why are there so many shorties? No, I don't oh. know, dude. I don't know. Oh, I got him. I got him. Oh, crap. Oh, God, awesome. they're all coming. Yeah. Jordan, I think we got to go, dude. <laughs> run, 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 run. Go. Go. Holy. <laughs> Why are there so many shorties? Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. The uh, a lot of the a lot of the balance you're seeing in here is not what's going to be there. We are we're we're also not like going crazy in the in the back and forth. So mm -hmm. why and wh why they built so many shorties? That that definitely doesn't for the customization. High level breakdown. High level breakdown. All right, here we go. So. 
So yeah, this is going through some of the stuff. This is this was captured kind of in a newer-ish build. So there's some stuff you'll see on the screen. It's not all accurate, but it's going to give you a look. Each side has loadouts. So clowns have loadouts, humans have loadouts. You unlock those over time so that you can customize and kind of set up different loadouts you can set active. Um, there's the archetypes uh, that you select for the humans, but you also have a full emote wheel uh, with communication-based emotes and some other stuff. So here we're going to go. Then, of course, the visual cosmetic customization is definitely the biggest thing with the human. The humans, you know, since they're not hugely class-based oriented, they're, they're very much like, we want you to be able to build your own way and kind of customize your human in the way you want to. Um, but that's also where you can access like the special skins like uh, Mike and Debbie. So that's where that'll be. And I'm trying to think if there's like, you can see the voice and the, the makeup. Yeah, scrub back there. I forget we yeah, have yeah, the scrub, scrub back ability. Here, um, but yeah, you just have the ability to kind of go through. And then th there's a lot of clothing pieces that are kind of tied to specific unlocks based on the, uh, the, the, the kind of archetypes that we we're talking about. Like, oh, the, you have to do certain things to get the actual like special punk jacket or the, the, the different clothing that the different character archetypes have. So we do have kind of a meta progression based around unlocking and, and building out your your uh, cosmetic customizations for both sides, but humans have done a lot of different stuff. Okay. Yep. Then continue on. Mm -hmm. 